Okay, we're streaming, we're recording. If our audio is off, please let us know. We'll adjust the gain or something. Um, of course, nobody's watching, so. But uh, we're down one set of headphones right now. Our audio splitter is on the fritz. So, Ben's got the headphones, I've got the controller. We're playing Chrono Trigger. I'm gonna get rid of this volume mixer. Okay. So, we've got, we can go and fight Lavos right now if we wanted to. Lavos! Lavos! But, uh, we're not going to. Dang it. <laughs> we're gonna go treasure hunting, and then we're gonna go do side quests. And then we'll see where we're at. Whether or not we get those side quests done today. Who knows. But, I've changed the party around. I've got Marl in it now instead of Magus. Just because one of the treasures we need to get, she needs to be in the party for us to proceed. So, gotcha. Because technically, we have to like go do a cutscene for one of the side quests in order to access the treasure. So, for David, yes. I forgot that's what we named the ship. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're gonna take off instead of getting off. And let's go ahead. Let's go to the future. Future. There's really only one place we need to go to get the treasure here. That is... Banger Dome. <laughs> nice. So we go through this door. We've got the alluring top. Ooh. Workman's wallet and a high ether. We're gonna go ahead and equip that alluring top on Benny because that makes her charm more likely to succeed. Okay. Just... Oh. I'm gonna use this gate just because uh, that gate was previously still locked like we haven't used it again yet so now we've got our full full uh armory of gates okay. inventory of gates so is the david still in that timeline nope the david follows us mm. should <laughs> Let's see, many paths, many paths lie before you. You might choose to leap into that bucket. Bucket. Or fly the wings of time to the day of Lavos. Or there is the black omen, which now straddles time, seeking to summon Lavos yet again. Such folly, lusting so greedily after power that the power wields you. It is up to you to decide when and where you will face Lavos. However, do not think that you stand alone. I have had glimpses, albeit vague of events, people, and places that will empower you. The forest brought life back to life by the sheer determination of a woman in the Middle Ages. The fortress of one of Binnis's three former generals in the Middle Ages. The guy's name is Binnis? Oh, that's what we named Magus. Oh, okay. A task to be done in the future, in a birthplace of machines. A prehistoric stone that will shine with the light of all the ages of the world. The restless spirit of a proud knight slain by Bennis in the Middle Ages and lingering even in the present. An object of legend in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. Speak to your companions. Some among you will, may well know the figures behind the events which I have seen. Borrow the might of all these lives throughout the ages. Let their strength become your own, for only then can you hope to defeat the enemy you face. Such is the power required should you wish to change the future. I will remain here and bear witness to the world's fate. Hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tells us about Ozzy's fortress. Don't know why it's not letting me take the wings of time, so I guess I will just take the portal back to Banger Dome. <laughs> it should follow me, but maybe I'm just like, you know, slightly in the wrong place when I'm pressing the A. 
not that important. It's right here. Hmm. We're going to present first. Act 1000 AD. Here, going to the castle. Who got to talk at the Guardia Castle? Princess Nadia. Nadia, you had me worried, Princess. I understand your feelings, of course. The king places his realm above all else. <laughs> it was the same even when your mother, Queen Eliza, passed away. Get shit on your dad loves his country more than you. What? Thanks, Ben. Oh, child, please forget I spoke. Tell me. It's difficult to speak of, even now. You see, Queen Eliza's condition had been frail for some time, but it took a sudden turn for the worse near the end. She desperately wanted to see your father just one last time. But your father refused, said he could not leave his work unattended. He left you young, innocent, and knowing nothing of death to watch over her alone. Naturally, the inn was not long in the coming. She died soon after. One might well say the king killed her. Such a shame. You seem very happy about that. Hey. Father killed her? Please, I speak too much. Do not let it trouble you, your highness. No, you just said... No, no. You just said my dad killed my mom. I'm gonna... I, I'm gonna think about this. Now that you finally return, won't you go and see the king? Oh, you mean my mom killer? Sure. Okay. So if we didn't have her in the party, we would just be, like, thrown out of the castle right away. So. Uh. Now, if you'll remember last time, and you won't. Mm-mm. Uh, but we've already done some treasure hunting, and there's a bunch of these black boxes that we've been running into. Yeah. And, uh... Yeah, we had to go the, to them in the Middle Ages, yeah. try to open them to power them up, and then say no. And now we can come back to 1000 AD and get the powered up versions of them. And then... Red Vest upgraded. Obtained Red Plate. So this will absorb fire damage, which will be useful in one of the side missions. Also, we got an elixir. That's all we need to do in here for now. We'll come back to this side quest later. No, I won't talk to my dad. Nope. Dang. Won't let me confront the killer of my mother. Correct. Let's go to that whirlpool. It's actually, it yeah, is where I'm going. Because there's a box in this cave here too. There's a chest there and there. Yeah, they're already opened. When did we go to this? This was, um... Do you remember when we, like, came back to the year 1000 for the first time and we were in those monsters' uh, closet and they offered us food and stuff and then we had to make our way back to our original continent? No, we I fought didn't. a boss battle here. Wow, I do not remember at all. Obtained barrier ring. Hmm? <clears throat> There is something else in here. What in the world? Obtain speed ring. There's two items in that chest. Cool. Go under this. Under here. Ooh, uh, something glowing. This is a safe spot. Jump in. Whee! What's this, Xbox? What? Xbox 360, it said jump in on the box. Okay. I don't remember that. I think I might still have my Xbox 360 box somewhere. Okay, so I think we're actually done in the year 1000. So we're gonna go to the Middle Ages. Man, it's so weird not having the music. I miss it so much. Oh, it's bopping. Okay, so now we can pick up all the stuff around here. True thing. So all the lesser versions of the things. Okay. 
paint the blue vest. So that also absorbs that absorbs water damage, but not as much as the blue plate. Or it mm -hmm. absorbs all all water damage, but it's not as defensive as the blue plate. Mm -hmm. Also, just realized the mouse is on the screen. People have gotten mad at us for doing that before. So the mouse is now off the screen. Go ahead. Go back to Guardia Castle. Great, now you got me saying it. <laughs> Red vest. Red leather, yellow leather? Is that what you're thinking of? Magic ring. Magic ring. Okay. I think that was all the treasure hunting we needed to do. I looked at all the stuff uh, like a guide earlier today. So. Hmm. What side quest would you like to do first, Ben? Did any of them jump out at you? I don't know what you're talking about. What side quests? That's what the old guy was talking about? I was not paying attention. Why not? Uh, I was not paying attention. You just started reading. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to ignore this. <laughs> <sighs> Let's go to the distant future. Let's put our red plate and our red vest to use. Okay. Future... Wait. So does Tavon's vest, but the ruby vest is still better than Tavon's mm -hmm. vest. I'd say the reason I'm giving that to her, she is fire aligned, so she might have some natural resistance to fire damage. I don't know how true that is, but uh, I would say probably not very true. But okay. Sunshine. But there's nothing here. There's a way to pull up a map. There we go. So we want to go to that island. It's been a map the whole here. time. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not really been all that important because we've not really had a way of flying around the map till now. That's true. 
So it's just kind of a, we need to get. This could be like a Pokemon game map. A little bit. Where are we now? On our way. Okay. Sun Temple. So the way that you fight this guy is you have to attack the flames. All but one of them are fakes. And the one that's not a fake will do damage to him. Robo is healing, and the other two will attack. And he was most... Okay, so now he's spinning them around, so now I have no idea which ones are real or fake. Yeah. And you don't want to do multi-targeting stuff. So does that plus mean you're gaining... Health yeah, the, the green means that I'm gaining health from it. From the fire attacks? Anything? Yeah, because I have the red vest and the red plate equipped. Hmm. And he's got that other attack, though, that can deal damage. So. Yeah. Still. Oh, come on, man. There we go. That's what I want. And I'm going to go ahead and... All three of them attack. I don't think the chance. And there's really no reason to do like real counter attacks. Or kind of There's no reason to do techs. Oh, okay. Because you're just going to and it's just gonna do the same damage to the to the guy. I think I would have done the top one. Same as the last time. It happens, man. That's what random is. <laughs> Oof, she's dead. She did. Yeah, it's fine. And in fact, at this point, I really don't eat her. <laughs> oh, he did the roulette spin. Yeah. Because, like, he's just gonna heal us. I mean, he's got that one attack that we might be on the lookout for, but... It's just as likely to, like, immediately heal us afterwards. I don't know he hit you that time. <coughs> and now he healed me. Just pressing left as soon as <laughs> just can keep track of it better this way. So even though that was a crit, it did the same amount of damage to the core. You want to try to attack the top? I'll attack the top. Nope. 
Thanks for the mass heal. And fall out. Oh, he's got a regular attack on me. You bastard. Son of the sun is losing his sight. sight. Son of the sun. Nice. Son of the enemy. There we go. So that's that battle. Way easy when you have a red plate and red vest. Oh yeah. TP. It's like the one time I actually use the elemental plate and vest. Mm -hmm. She'll be fine. She's it's fine. It's fine. Well, what do we got here. Fine. Fine. That's the best thing I've got right now. Yes. And then the plate. Okay. Stairs over here. Hey there, buddy. Hello. You're talking, by the way. Oh, I am. This is the ancient sunstone. It looks like it's been drained of all its energy. We could probably recharge it with sunlight, but that would take eons. Tained moonstone. Let's go, Evolver Clefairy. Do you get the answer? Do you understand the answer to this puzzle, Ben? I'm assuming you're gonna go back in time to put it in that. Gotta go back in time. time. Yeah, and the 65 million BC. That one cave you went to at first. Yeah. Did you have to go there first just to say that hey, there was nothing there? No, you oh, could have okay. gone straight there. I just didn't know which cave it was. I didn't know if it was the one in the oh. top corner or or not. But the cave we need to put it in is always gonna be in the same spot. Over right. the years, so the map is different. Huh? This is 65 million years ago, there, buddy. And it's gonna be different. I think you're going the wrong way. Yeah, but the world is huh? round. Oh, it's circular. It's not a flat Earth. Sorry. Correct. It's a, it's a good feature. I figure most maps, it's a flat line there. It's never dark in here. Well then, back to the David. So it always shines there. It's never cloud or anything. Yep, it's the British Empire. So it never sets on it. Interesting. Okay, so now go back to the future. Something <laughs> That's Ghostbusters. That's Ghostbusters. What's the other Back to the Future song? It's Back in Time. Power of Love. Power of Love is the other one. What? It's missing. What? <laughs> it's you. You're Ben. Oh. You just said it was missing, so I assumed I you read it. It's gone. The Moonstone is gone. It looks like it's been gone for some time. Let's try another time period. I think. So at no, some point to somebody something. took it, so we have to see where it's still there or whatever. Yeah. It isn't here either. I wonder if someone from this time period took it. Okay, so it's not in 1000. The 
I'm trying to do my uh, Matt Berry voice without doing the British. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I get you. I, yeah, I'm getting it. So it is here. There's also a strength tap here. So, so do you want to get it in the future? Yes. Or, okay, so now you just got to figure out, like, why somebody's taking it. Yeah, where they took it. So it's in the year 600. It's not in the year 1000. So now you got to find it in the year 1000 and put it back? Yep. Okay. That makes sense. We should catch up on what we do in the shadows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that streaming on anything other than Hulu? As far as I know, it's only Hulu. Okay. Well... I think I have a password for that. I just was trying not to use it. Okay, so somebody's got it. I think we have to go... It's easy, we just gotta find somebody who has a Clefable. Actually, yeah, that's that's right. The uh... Oh, it tells you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's been absorbing sun energy for a while, so... Of course, the mayor has it. Mayor. So, if you remember correctly, I think we changed his ancestors to like raise their kids to be nice. Uh -huh. so this mayor should be nice right now. Okay. If not, I've got to go deliver some jerky to the Middle Ages. I think you already delivered some yeah. jerky. You're interested in the Moonstone? A passing young traveler left it here. By all means, take it. It seems to be important to you folks. What do you mean, you folks? <laughs> Talking robots? <laughs> Help the needy, share and share like. Thinking about making that the town motto. What about the never? The sun never s sets on the wherever we're at. Uh, is this poor? Poor. This is the name of the town. Yep, poor. Wow. It's or poré. Poré. Pori. Pori. Pori gone. Okay, so... No, Porygon takes a special stone, right? Porygon takes an upgrade. upgrade. And then to get Porygon Z from Porygon 2, you need a dubious disc. Dubious disc. <laughs> nice. So then he gets... Okay, so place the moonstone here. Yes. So it's still a moonstone. Yep. Gotta go back to the future. Marty! We gotta go back! It's your kids, Marty! It's your kids, They're in trouble. Amazing. With energy like this, I should be able to make a really powerful weapon. Let's take it back to my house. Wait, we're gonna get a weapon out of it? Hell yeah. First, we'll extract the sunstone's energy and convert it to a more manageable form. Then we'll just vacuum pack it into a cartridge. What? She's taking the energy and okay. putting it into a cartridge. Okay. And it's finished. It's dancing. Obtained Wonder Shot. <laughs> That's the big old powerful weapon's name. Yep, Wonder Shot. Sounds like a sidekick character. Wonder Shot! My name's Wonder Shot. Sometimes I am The Booming myself. Bullet and his sidekick, Wonder Shot. <laughs> Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Wait, now it's SNL? Just the way he said it, it sounds like that SNL. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the booming with special guest Robbie music. Robbie Moynihan. <laughs> this is you. Oh, I said that. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're too busy talking about SNL. Take a look at this, Ben. I borrowed a bit of the sunstone to create something nifty of my own. Obtain sunglasses. <laughs> nice. Sunglasses are actually pretty good. They're not as good as the prism specs, but... I'm gonna leave the golden stud with you. I think that's the best name. Sunglasses boost damage. Bobby Moynihan. And Keenan Thompson. Featuring. 
Share. Share. Oh, sorry. No, Saturday. that's that's share with me. Host. The musical guest. Host. Yeah. Yeah. She could do. Share. Well, either. Okay, so we've got the sunstone and the sunglasses. The sunstone will come up again at the end of one of the other side missions. Um, we'll like okay. be able to combine it with another rare item that we get. Okay. So technically, couldn't you go back? Oh, no. You have the weapon now, so can't you technically go back to the future and like take the moonstone again? Is that how this time works? Or is it already... So, the way that I understand it is we can go once we've touched the time period time moves normally in that time period so like even right now we're in 1000 AD if we were to go back to 2300 we would be like you know if we spend an hour in 1000 AD an hour is going to pass in 2300 okay. is my understanding of it okay so like once we've established we're in this time zone we can't really go back to another area in this time zone because we're basically we're tied to the um, okay we're tied to the timeline of the gates that we went through is my understanding of getting this all yeah but worked out technically the moonstone should still exist in the oh yeah we past. can go and look at the moonstone in 1000 AD Don't... but it doesn't have any it's not charged enough to be a sunstone so it doesn't do anything oh, as okay. a moonstone so the moonstone doesn't do anything until 2300 AD when we pick it up and it's a here's the and then since we took the one from 2300 it's not there anymore yeah like if we could go to a time 2100 yeah. and if that was enough for it to be charged up then yeah we could get two of them so if like we, technically if, if we like after 2300 it wouldn't exist anymore because we took it from yes yes but if we took it slightly before it would still be there yes yeah okay. so well, if we took it from, if we could take it, if we could go back to slightly before it, mm -hmm. then we could take it again. Yes. Similar to how we had a bunch of treasure chests that are in 1,000 and in 600, mm -hmm. and I would refuse to open them in 600 if they had a counterpart in 1,000. Mm -hmm. Because I want to pick up the one in 1,000 first, and then pick up the one in 600. So you could go back to those chests and pick it up. Yes. Again. In but, fact, we've done that. That's how we got all mm -hmm. those mm -hmm. red vests and all that sort of stuff. I got you. Okay, so let's let's go fuck up Ozzy, Flash, and Flea again. Oh, Flea. Okay, so here's their fortress. I'm gonna change the party around. <laughs> We're gonna go to Magus. Sorry, Bennis. Bennis, B-3, and then Chrono. Chrono? I don't know. He put a K instead of a C, so. It's to be Chrono, it. though, isn't it? Well, depends. Do you do an Ozzy Osbourne impression? I can't. I can't. I feel like I would just I'm do Ozzy Osbourne. I'm the Prince of Darkness. Welcome and well met. Nah, can't do it. Welcome this is the great Ozzy's. What? I could have tried. Gah! Lord Bennis! Just changes. It is too good to see you again. Sorry, it is good to see you again, Ozzy. The nerve! You think you can talk to me after you desert your fellow fiends to the lick the boots of these filthy humans? You're not our lord, you're a traitor! Why did you leave us? Okay, bye. You said you were going to get cigarettes and you never came back. You pesky, low good-for-nothings! Can't take a hint, eh? <laughs> you forgot down. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Because I know what I have to do now. Flee! All right. Oh, shit. I did this wrong. Oh, you didn't flee. You call. Oh, hello. Remember, flee is a man. Great. Great! Flee's great. 
Oh dear me, if it isn't Lord Bennis, you must like shame to have come back here. A human-loving traitor like you deserves to be punished like the bad, bad boy you are. Yeah, punish I should have had Ayla in my party. Because mm. she can steal some good equipment from these folks. Mm. Well, I don't really use the equipment that much. <laughs> like, you can steal Slash's sword. Looks like Ozzy's, like, holding his breasts. I think that's his belly, but okay. <laughs> um, you can get Flea's vest, and you can get uh, Ozzy's underpants, which is a helmet. What? It's like it's the best helmet in the game, but you start the battle with confusion. Yeah, because you have underwear on your head. <laughs> Look, Ben, I didn't make this game. Honestly, Ozzy doesn't seem like the type to wear underwear. <laughs> Well, but he does seem like the type to wear underwear on his head. Yeah, that's true. Wait. Stand back, right, Ozzy, and let me take care of these cretins. It's cretins. Right, I'll uh, just leave it to you then, Flea. Now he flees. All right, time for a good hard spanking. Hello. I like this character. Forget how to fight Flea. Usually some, like... Medicine clears that up. Maybe, maybe like distract them with a bass guitar. I think, I think I might be able to correct my mistake here. Plays the bass guitarist, right? Yeah, he plays bass. Yeah. Okay. So this fight is nothing, but eventually I'll be fighting all three of them together, uh, okay. and that's when I can steal. Oh, just you wait. I'll teach you a lesson next time. Okay. Can't wait. I'm not ashamed to say I'm attracted to Flea. Even though she's a man. Wait, which Flea are we talking about? <laughs> not the basis. <laughs> not the basis, Flea. Okay. Uh... Actually, we're going to switch He's in Back to the Future. Oh, yeah. He's in the future, right? Isn't yeah. he Needles? No, he's in the present, because he's the one who, like, challenges Marty to that race that breaks his hands or whatever. Okay. I think he's also in the future. I think it's the same yeah, character in the future. Right. Or, like, his son or something. Yeah. I think I think it's the same character because we see, like... Oh, yeah, you're right. He, he's talking to old Marty. You're talking about the uh, businessman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought you were talking about, like, one of the punks. Back to the Future trilogy is very solid. Very solid. I am in the minority that I, th I think I, I like three the best. Three, one, uh, two. I'd go one, three, two. Well, one's a better movie. Yes. But I think I like three more. Okay. Well, I like one better. I think we're in the minority that I think th people think three is the worst. That's fair, but like, it's so fun. Yeah. I think you're in the minority saying three is the best. <laughs> I like three! I'm sorry! It's fun! And we get it's to all see about a Doc, more, yeah. We get a lot more of Doc Brown as a character in three, mm. so... And Mary Steenberger. Howdy! Arise, my fearsome guardians! You said oh, yeah, Mary Steenberger. Is it Steenberger or Steenberger? Steenburgen. Steenburgen? Steenburgen? I don't know. It's not burger. It's like Steenburgen. But she's amazing. Like... They threw her in in the last movie, and it's like, I could have had her in all three, and I've been... Mary Steenburgen. Okay. Or Burgeon, whatever. She's she's the mom and stepbrothers, right? Yeah. And in Elf? Yes, she's the mom and Elf, or stepmom. Or yeah. Whatever. Slash him to shreds! No one's taking back the treasure I stole fair and square from Bennis's keep! <clears throat> oh no, there's guys... Oh, Those she's guys. the mom in Princess Kaguya, too. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <gasps> Holy... to pieces! The parents of Kaguya are the same parents in Elf. <laughs> <laughs> That's... A, are you telling me that Princess Kaguya and Buddy the Elf are siblings? Oh, my God. Is gotta, that what you're telling me? I gotta tweet that. <laughs> you, you keep on going. You wanna tweet that from the show Twitter? Is that my first tweet? I think so. 
Here, let me get you. Let me just verify this. Okay. I am almost positive. Well, whenever you're ready. As he's in a pickle. I'm out of here. Okay, bye. Ozzy's a fucking joke. James Martin is in that? And what? Princess Caligula. He's a prince. Interesting. Go on. Don't you people ever give up? Well, it looks like there's only one choice. Slash! I gotta put shabs here, right? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you summoned... Take care of this for me, will you, Slash? Shab's here with my first twitch. <laughs> Normally, I would not deign to cross blades with my former lord, but who am I to question the complex workings of fate? Today, I learned... Ready yourselves! How do I word this? I don't know. Not you. I just put the actor. Hmm. <laughs> you win this time. Yeah. So they're a joke right now. Hey, there's somebody in the chat for once. Oh, I don't know who it? this is. It's Diggs, hey, what's by up? the way. Hello. We're just playing Chrono Trigger and learning that Buddy the Elf and Princess Kagi are siblings. That's what we're doing right I now. I think they're siblings. They just have the same parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what siblings are, Ben. What? People with the same parents. Okay, let's go. Are the parents. Let's go. Of both. Princess, if I could type right. I got nubby thumbs, I can't type right again. Got nubs in my thumbs. I don't know what that was. Oh, you got rid of Chrono? Yeah, I need Ayla in the party. And Robo's the best healer. Okay. And it's fun having Magus in the party because he's, you know, he used to be their boss. I mean, Bennis. Come on, sweethearts. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. Here's a little secret for you folks. If you come over here, secret passage. And there's magic cap. And we've got the doom scythe. Gloom helm. Oop. And the last one. Come on. Let me get this last chest. The Gloom Cape. So this is like Magus's ultimate equipment set here. Doom Scythe, Gloom Helm, Gloom Cape. Alright, I put Shabs here. James Kahn and Mary Steenbergen play the parents of both Princess Kagula and Buddy of the Elf, making them siblings. <laughs> okay, so we just ignore that chest that he's got a trap next to. Do th and then, uh... Do what you will with this information. <laughs> this information is your, your this information counts as your Christmas gift. <laughs> yeah, I'll just okay. I like that. Making them siblings. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Kagi the princess. What's your favorite color? <laughs> okay, okay. So if we ignore the chest that he's got an obvious trap on, he says. Um, sweethearts, don't you want to open the treasure chest? Probably filled with lots of nice goodies. And then a little goblin comes up. Oh, treasure! Do I put T-I-L? Today I learn. No. no. Just put, okay, so Shab's here. James Kahn and Mary Steenbergen play the parents of both Princess Kaiga and Buddy the Elf, making them siblings. Merry Christmas. <laughs> As, as he's bungled that one, I'm out of here. Okay, bye. People know I'm Shabs. Ah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I refer to you as Shabs in the uh, some of the um, 
like descriptions for the videos and podcasts. Mm -hmm. I did that today. But yeah, now that he's gone, we can come and get the treasure chest. It's just got a high ether in it. So. I think I tweeted that. I guess I'll find out. Okay. <laughs> not so fast, friends. This time's not going to be so easy. Ozzy's pants. Ozzy's pants? Flea Bastille. Do you mean Ozzy Mandius? Slasher 2. They're listing off all the items that I'm going to steal from them. Oh. Guy's name is Slash? Yeah, we got Slash, Flea, and Ozzy. That's a great band. Oh, it fit. Okay. You're going to like and retweet your own tweet. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I do it all the time, too. So, <laughs> With these items combined, we're invincible. Get ready to witness true power. Okay, time to start stealing. We're going to charm the pants off of you, Ozzy. It's not harshly... <laughs> I'm taking Ozzy's pants. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's like a Konosuba. Just take people's pants. Yep. So he's not useless without the pants. It's just probably just severely or weakens them. I don't think it actually weakens them at all. It's just I have the item now. Uh, so. Okay. You should probably heal. Yeah. So I got Robo on the team. Robo Bow! <laughs> got Benny Benis and B slash 3 in. Yep. This is a good, that was a great idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're going to try to get Slasher 2. So this implies that there's a Slasher 1. Yeah, we, we got that from him when we killed okay. him, the first, or we beat him the first time. Okay. If we attack Again. Ozzy, he does the triple attack. If we attack just the one of them... They only do like a double tech on us. Interesting. So Flea's yawning, Slasher's standing there, and Ozzy's fondling his breasts. What is Ozzy doing? Yeah. Ozzy doesn't do much. Oof. That's a lot of damage. It must be a light spell, because I think she's got the white plate equipped or something. She's healing for those. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but we got all the items, so... Flee! Now we're going <laughs> to... Boulder toss him. Dark bomb. And we'll go ahead and heal beam. Dark bomb is an AoE effect, so it's only gonna hit one of them. But I think that's what we want to so that uh hey, we, we take out area one of, of effectiveness. Yeah, area, area of effect, yeah, AoE. Okay. AoE. So, like, if they were close, Dark Bomb yeah. would have hit multiple things, but they're not close. So, <laughs> but I want to take out one of them before I take out all of them, so that I can, you know, I don't have to deal with like three triple tech retaliations. Mm -hmm. I just have to deal with one. Beam, bat signal, blind. This might hurt B slash three N. Just. Panacea. Panacea wouldn't want to be ya. A boulder toss would be like tossing a boulder. Yeah, she can toss. She's so strong she can toss even boulders. Ah. Uh -huh. That guy from Avatar? <laughs> <laughs> that, like, wrestles with toss? Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. <laughs> I think Foley, Foley, Summers, somebody else. I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm not for sure who Nick Foley is either. He's a wrestler. It's known, I think, as uh, Mankind. Okay, yeah. So we beat Ozzy, and that beat all of them, apparently. So, oh. okay. I forgot that that's how that worked, but... The pool. Ooh, B-3 and learn Proximity Bomb. Proximity Bomb. Im impossible! Impossible. Speed ring. Clarity cap. IMDB counts all these, like, pay-per-view matches. <laughs> <laughs> of course they do. It's a... Venus, <laughs> you really have it out for me, don't you? We fought side by side. You said you wanted to create a world for fiends. It was all a lie, wasn't it? You used me. Okay, that makes sense. I sought power, nothing more. Surely the howling of those bitter winds does not escape your ear. The end draws nigh. You can't defeat me. What would become of fiend kind? I can't lose. I won't. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, he's the boulder. That's what I thought. <laughs> gotcha. Oh no! Trap door? Yeah. So, whenever door. he has that barrier up, you can't hit him. So you have to hit one of the switches behind him. Uh, but then, the first switch that you hit drops you down. Uh, so you just have to go back and do that again. But for the second switch. Man, today's birthdays are stacked. Got Steven Spielberg, Brad Pitt, Ray Liotta, Katie Holmes, and Jason Metzdukas. Mantazukas? Mantazukas. Oh, that's how I always pronounce it. I'm sure I'm getting it wrong. It's Mantazukas. Mantazukas? Yeah. Casper Van Deem. You're wasting your time. You'll never defeat me. And then a little kitty cat comes up. And flips a switch. No, not that switch! And then he falls down the trap door. <laughs> Foiled again. By a cat. Would have gotten away with two if it weren't for you meddling kids. And that <laughs> dumb cat. I am unable to determine the logic behind his actions. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's it. A, that's that's, that's, that's the that's the end of this side quest. <laughs> Just to get his underpants. Well, and Magus is set. Oh, okay. So... Here. Ozzy pants. Defense 45. Question mark, question mark, question mark. And yes, it is a helmet. <laughs> Clarity cap. Prevents confuse. Okay. Interesting. Also better than the Triceratopper. <laughs> um, oh, I'll show you the... Oh no, that's right. The flea, the flea vest or flea bustier is not armor. It's uh, equipment. Magic defense plus twelve, which is pretty good. We are gonna give Samus the sunglasses. Samus mm. Bennis the sunglasses. Nice. Um, the other thing we got was the slasher two. So you can see, I've already got the regular slasher. Oh, I don't remember getting this Yaksha blade, but. Slasher 2. It's the most powerful sword I've got yet. There's better ones out there, though. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, so while we're in the Middle Ages. Let's go save a forest. Huh. My husband, Marco, <laughs> is finally home from the war. I was oh, I'm sorry if he didn't. <laughs> Worry not, my love. We won't be parted again. Anything I plant dies before it even has a chance to grow. It's the work of monsters lurking out in that desert somewhere. 
This young tree is one that has been cultivated throughout the ages, mysteriously resilient, that could surely restore the desert to verdant land. But I daren't plant so small a sapling out there now, not with all the monsters nesting in that cave. Daren't a word? Apparently. Also, that reminds me... We need to... Change out my party some more. Because the monsters are weak to water. Water! That means you gotta put Ben in it. No. I can put Frog in as well. Yeah. Cut what we called him. Oh, just Toad. Toad! <laughs> hmm, I can't remember if you can steal stuff from these enemies. So we'll put Benny in just in case. She's also, like, one of the best party members. Like, if I'm being honest right now, the party I will fight the final boss with will probably be Robo Benny Chrono. Just. Okay. Or maybe I'll swap out Benny for Magus. Sorry, Bennis. Uh. Desert. Ooh, a treasure chest. What is this, Nasca? Two. Electric Google. Sandrago. Okay, so you have to like use the water and then do like physical attacks against them. to take care of them and then I guess those guys are hard to hit so I kept missing so pin lapis lapis lies in me pin another lapis fled into the bottom of the sea villa Pillar? Is that what they call it? I think. I wasn't actually paying that close of attention. Hmm. Vile, Vile pillar. pillar. Yeah, I see that now. That's all the damage. That's a crit. Um, and their defense was reduced from the water, by the water magic. He just juggles you with his tail. I care too. I want to heal. Wild pillar. I feel like there's a better name for this thing. Yeah, it's gonna be like a caterpillar. I would say villa pillar. I, I think I would go back to how you were originally doing it, but like with the spelling being like, oh, but it's vile. Oh, you know what I mean? Hmm. Question is, can we make it work? I don't know what that means. Can I use my giant lightning spell? My Akira spell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can. Tatsuo! Kanida! Tatsuo! Not the lapis. Lapises are great. They give 200 HP to all party members. Cool. I mean, I don't use them too much, but. Ionian suit. Nice. Oh no, it's these things. Sandrago. I will crush you. And 
just gonna miss again. Oh, that one hit. That one hit. Interesting. Sand breath. I've been blinded. My science. <laughs> you got pocket sanded. <laughs> yeah. Are you automatically healed after battles? No. No, he's still blind. Oh, oh, you mean those things? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, statuses don't stay. Corner two. And Luminaire. Luminaire. Just because I don't want to deal with fighting them that much. The toad is running low on MP. MP. So we should give him some more. Athenian water? No, it's like elixirs or whatever. Ethers. Ethers. That's also, since we're going to be relying on him. Silverstead. Okay, that makes sense. I know he's got the gold on. Okay. Do you gradually? Heal your MP, or do you have to use? I mean, you can heal it through other means, but no, you don't gradually heal MP. Okay. You'd have to use items, or a shelter, or um, rest at an inn, or go to the end of time. Okay. There's a free. I think in some games, like you, if you don't use MP, you can get more. You gain more. Yeah, some games will be like will refresh MP. Mm -hmm. Um. They just no, keep I gotta clear out the monsters in this area again. They don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming. They don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming. And they don't stop coming. <laughs> and, and, hear me out. They don't stop coming. Hey now. Sorry, two water twos. So four waters. Maybe like Dino Tail. Ooh, interesting. Cast this thing down here. Hi, Potion. Okay, I have to avoid the boss and get all the chests. I don't have to avoid the boss. Ground but shake! I will not have a chance to get all the chests. Sorry, ground shake! So, wonder if he's ready. So, that fell beast is what changed soil to sand. Bone, Bone move under. Oh, sorry, this is. Hey! You. I thought it was Toad still talking. Go ahead, Benny. Bone, move under sand. Hard C. How dare you. A thousand gold. Hi, Ether. Go, go now. Do it now. Ooh. No, 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 Okay, uh, he's already got an alien helm. You can take an alien helm. Why not give him pants? Her pants. Oh, that confuses him. That's yeah. Right. I'd have to waste a a heal status on yeah. on the first turn. But 
Dark Helm. Gonna throw that on here. That's all the chests. Now I'm ready to fight this bad boy. Hurry up, buddy. Come on. I know you want to tussle. Let's fucking go. Ooh. Oh, missed him. Missed him again. Just stay in one spot. He'll come eventually. Hold. 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 There. Wish I remembered what to do here. Oh shit, I should have Oh! Dude, this guy's cool looking. What's this guy's name? Dave? Uh, don't know. Do they have a top and bottom? Yeah, and a middle. And a middle. Where my lapis is at? I got crotches of face. So that healed his top bottom, it hurt his top. Speed capsule. What does water do to you? Nothing. But his defense is down. Alright. I'll attack the bottom. I'm just gonna try to charm the bottom. Rub it a little. <laughs> Nothing to give but gratitude. <laughs> See? <laughs> Uh just take the center, I think. Yeah, if you take it with the center then. Oh, that was Only good. wild without core. Defense boosted when attacked. Yeah, so like I had to keep lowering the defense with water. Water. Water hardened sand. Does it? Yeah. Yeah. That's what he did. He can do it too, but not the same way. Water just makes it look mushy. Sand cyclone. Sand cyclone! water right now. He's still got one water on him. So. Let's see if Luminaire can do anything to these guys. Older toss. No, he's too big for Boulder toss. I don't think it'll work right. Okay, so. That didn't do anything. Yeah, and it boosts his defense. So you gotta use physical. Yeah. I'm attacking the bottom or top? I've done one on each. I'm gonna go back to bottom. Like the Oh my god, he just ate toad! Oh, never mind. Oh boy. Oh, but the lapis. Ooh, that lapis. Hmm. Don't I need to revive to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's see. Robo's a better healer. Because he 
heal it heals everybody, but it doesn't heal nearly as much as Robo's heal everybody does. Yeah. So I'm like I'm trying to force the secondary heal of these lances. Like I like the other I like that way. He's like, you bitch. Benny's not getting hurt. Yeah, but I like the double. If I if I knew that all I could get was like a tab, I would have probably thrown um, Ben in to use ice on him so that I could focus on healing. Like the end game, these bosses are supposed to be We're in the sort end of game challenging. Now. No, these are side quests. Yeah, optional bosses. Yeah, optional. We could have let this desert die or this forest die. No, there's more to this quest than the forest, though. Great, more things to do. Well, I just mean like there's more at stake than the forest. Oh. Um. Two forests. Two. Oh, will you die? Probably not, because I'm never doing any kind of damage to you. <laughs> so too busy healing from your. 50 to actually get it. <laughs> Two damage on that last hit. <laughs> Toad's dead. Yeah, I saw him. He's dead again. Alright, I'll be right back. Just <laughs> it's probably still going when I get back. You need to go to the bathroom? No, I gotta do laundry. Oh, okay. Again. There it goes again.
Nope, that's not work. I've got a better plan now, so, uh, well, first of all, the bottom's dead, <laughs> but I was trying to, like, some of the physical techs that I had, and a lot of, um, Ayla's higher level ones aren't that good, so I kind of put her more in the secondary healing position, and then I had Chrono use his Frenzy, which does, it's a high physical tech. Okay. Um, so... It deals a lot more damage than just like the single strikes are doing. Because I can mm -hmm. get four, I can get about 1200 things of damage. So she high potions, Chrono or Toad, whoever needs it. Toad uses water on him, Chrono uses Frenzy. And it works a lot better, so... Oh no! Oh, I could've switched to using water. <laughs> when there was only the one of them. I could've switched to using water. Because I'm like out of MP now, basically. Mm -hmm. Is this enough though? Is he dead? Nope. So let's go high potion to Chrono. There we go. Finally. <laughs> this is you. You're talking. Bad Bone Smash. Fiona Happy. Who's Fiona? The girl oh, okay. the shed. She uh, works for G4 now. Oh, yeah. R.I.P. She's the dad. Oh, yeah. She might as well. <laughs> Fiona. Thank you for dealing with those foul creatures. Now I can set to work to replanting again. Alas, I fear it will take ages to plant enough trees to reforest this land. Uh, if only there was someone who could toil for centuries on end, then these wastes could truly be made green again. <coughs> Alright, let's watch out my party. Robo, it's your time to shine. Sorry, B-3. Do you again. keep Toad in? Don't worry. We're not going to be in combat anytime soon. Oh, great. <laughs> Thank you for dealing with us foul creatures. Now I can set to work to replanting again. 
Master Fiat will take ages to plant enough trees to reforest this land. If only there was someone who could toil for centuries on end, then these wastes could truly be made green again. What do you think? I could remain here and assist Madame Fiona, and you could come to retrieve me once my work was complete. Is that alright? May I stay behind and help? No. Yeah, sure. I mean, we'll just get on David and... Yeah, exactly. I'll miss you, B to slash 3N. Yeah. So you can come back in the year 600 and see him, like, toiling away, doing various things. Uh -huh. So, like, at some point he's, like, a scarecrow. And... Oh, yeah? yeah. It's kind of cute. Bye, Ben. I'll never forget you. Who's that guy? Ah. <laughs> some guy. Now there's a forest here. Cool. In a big building. I wonder what's in there. Fiona's Shrine. Fiona. This is Fiona's Shrine. Here we give thanks to Fiona and B-3N for reviving the forest, scorching the war against Venice 400 years ago. Oh, you should have brought Venice. <laughs> <laughs> the remains of the venerable B-3N are enshrined in the inner sanctum. Beast, he's dead? My hats are woven from twigs, rich with the mystical energies of the forest. Oh, that's weird. Let's see. Prevents all status ailments. Yes, please. You don't have enough money. <laughs> oh, you're right, I don't. Time to sell stuff. Don't need the turbo ether, do you? Don't need the death claw. Don't need the megaton iron. Wait, which one does he use? Actually, I think the Megaton arm is what he uses, so I better keep that. Yeah. Don't need this. Don't need this. Don't need that. Oh, he might use the Kaiser. I think these actually do different things. I'm going to leave them there for yeah. now. I might not have changed out his equipment uh, when yeah. I needed to. Demon Slayer, don't need... Moonfall Scythe, don't need. Yaksha Blade, don't need. Shockwave, don't need. Hadean Sickle, don't need. Pyrion Blade, don't need. Iron Helm, no thank you. Stone Helm, nope. It's all those. Doom Helm, nope. Platinum Helm, nope. Clarity Cap, Prevents Confuse. I might actually want to keep that. Just in case. Ceratop or no. Need the Mesozoic Mail. I like to keep the elemental stuff. Don't need the Mist Robe. Don't need the Raven Armor. Platinum Vest is still better than some of the things people have. So. I think you can buy two of this. Two of them now. Oh, I can buy three of them now. Oh. Oh, I thought they were 70. Defense isn't as high. Also, I think I need Luca in my party. Sorry, I mean Ben. Who's Luca? Uh, Ben. Oh. Wait, who? <laughs> the other Ben. Oh, that Ben. <laughs> Robobo. Oh, no. B slash 3N is dead. Uh, should you be taking that? It's not technically a shrine. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> That's the venerable B 3N. Systems reactivated. Well, where am I? Oh, Chrono, how nice to finally see you again. Only a few moments may have passed for you, but I have been waiting for 400 years. However, my efforts were worthwhile. The forest is restored. Now shall we celebrate our 400 year reunion? We do that by going camping. Nice. Camping episode. I realized something during these past 400 years. I believe we may have been incorrect in our assumption that Lavos was responsible for the creation of the gates. What do you... <clears throat> Sorry, this is you. Which one is it? Uh, I'm going to say it's the princess. What do you mean? 
It is not a certainty, but I have come to believe it possible that some entity wished for us to witness these events. Perhaps it wanted us to see all of these various ages. Alternatively, it may have wished to see them for itself. It seems almost as though it were reflecting on the days of the past. Biddy no. Person die. See life pass by. Elder say. Before death claims a man, he is made to bear witness a second time to those memories engraved most deeply upon his heart. There may be fond memories among them, yes, but often as not, the ones which grieve us are the most profound. Knowing the end is approaching likely reactivates dormant feelings of regret and desire to return to moments in the past. Which one? Uh, we're gonna say this time it's the other bit. Wait, what? The one that's fixing him. Oh. We're gonna say that this time it's this. Because yeah. I don't know! You named two characters the same exact thing! Uh, you're the one controlling it. You did that. <laughs> I Do you mean you, that I will you happen name. when our time comes? I think I read that wrong. Whatever. Yeah, you did. Probably. Who knows? Is there a point in time you'd want to return to? This one ben? is this one is Princess that's talking. Oh, it's too sure. late. I already did the other one. <laughs> okay, this time it's it's it fixer, princess, it's inventor. Yeah. It's inventor talking now. But I just did the inventor for the other one. <laughs> but it, it it this is relevant to the next part of the story. I I no, no not not really. I'm this... sorry, I probably shouldn't have asked. Okay. Why did you name two characters? <laughs> you! I asked you to name them! And you made No, it's me... okay. It's just something I don't like to think about too much. But even if Lavos did not open the gates, his fate is clearly bound to that of the one who did. Lavos has played a role in every age we've seen. Lavos. Who do you think it is? I know I've changed his voice so many times. It is unknown to me whose memories these are. It is likely an entity greater than any of us. Perhaps we will not know until our journey has come to an end. Wolf Harrow? Shall we turn in for the night? There's like the, the one time they talk about there's a possibility of like, maybe there's like a spirit of the planet or God or something that mm. is looking back on the death of this world. And that's where the gates come Toad from. Toad looks dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he sleeps. You don't sleep like that? I don't think so. Okay, I'm actually going to need my keyboard for this next part, I think. Or possibly not. Oh, we going on a solo mission? Yeah, there's a gate here where there wasn't one before. And it's red. It's spooky. This is a part where if I fuck up, I'm going to feel really bad. Oh, no. What's this? June 24th, 990. Oh, Dad promised to go hiking with me, but he blew me off again because of his research. I don't get it, but whatever. Who cares about stupid science anyway? Girls don't need to know about that stuff. I know you can't hear this, but this is real freaky stuff right now. Oh, yeah? Okay. Oh, this is Taban. I do Taban's <laughs> The password to shut down the device is the name of my one true love. Use it in an emergency. What is this thing anyway? Taman said it would keep away to keep away from it, but it's so dusty. Surely it wouldn't hurt just to tidy it up a little. Oh my god. Dear me, my skirt! It's I'm stuck! Ben, Ben help! I can't pull it out! <laughs> it's a little girl. <laughs> oh no, Ben, enter the password, stop the machine. But I don't know it, mother. Enter password. 
L A R A. Whew. The first time I played this game, well, in when you're in the um, Super Nintendo version, mm -hmm. you have to use the L A R and A buttons to do it, like enter oh, okay. them in the correct sequence. And I was playing emulator with a keyboard as the controls instead of a controller. Yeah. So it was like they're not mapped to like yeah. the actual L A R N A. So I like I messed up and she died. <laughs> nice. Uh, Mummy, thank goodness. Ben, oh Ben, oh Ben, the back is open. June 24th, 1990. Yep. July 2nd, 1990. That was close. I think I better study a little more about the machines in case anything like that ever happens again. So we were able to fix her one regret. We were able to get... Save um, her mom. Yep, save her mom from, from being crippled. She didn't die uh, from that. She gets crippled. So, like, you can... When you, were, when you would see her... Yeah. Um, you know, she'd just be, like, sitting at, in a chair at home. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, and, like, if you don't do this part, she'll be sitting at the, in the final scene, too. Or, oh. like, I think she's dancing in the other, now that we've saved her. Gotcha. Not the exact final scene, but, like, there's a festival. That'd be her name. Nope. Ben. Since the name is variable, I don't think they could do that. <laughs> that was always weighing on your mind, was it not, Ben? You were always thinking of others. I have a present for you. It is a piece of amber I created using sap from the trees in this forest. It required 400 years and a great deal of pressurization to make it. I hope you will find it useful. Should have done that for Obtained time. green dream. Which I think is a one-time use held item that if you die in battle, you'll automatically get revived. Cool. B-3N. You're so sweet. Thank you. Okay. So, let's look at some equipment here and get everyone... Bat! <laughs> so we want Vigilance Cap here. Sure, we'll give you the final best Ben. Okay, so he's got the Gigaton on. Okay, so the Kaiser arm and the Megaton arm we can sell. Because he's using the Gigaton arm. He's got played on. Mm, let's see, it's still better than those plates. Ben Schwartz is gonna be in a romantic comedy. <sighs> is it with me, please? No, but it's Rahul Cooley's in it. Is a Ben Schwartz and Rahul Cooley gonna be in love? Because no, that's what I want. No, it doesn't look like it. I think he's okay. probably just gonna be the friend. Okay. Wait, Ben Schwartz is just gonna be the friend? No, Ben Schwartz is the. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Still. I know I'm going to get more helms that are better. Like, I don't know why I'm doing this. Why are you doing this? Okay. So. Why are we here? What would you like to do now? I don't know. I don't know the side quests. We can go hunt down the rainbow shell. We Sounds can... boring. Guy right here. 
Glimpses of the vague of events people place them in power you. Tasks to be done in the future in the birthplace of machines. Huh. Restless spirit of a proud knight slain by Bennis in the Middle Ages and, he, and lingering even in the present. Object of legend in the Middle Ages that sparkles like a rainbow. And then also, once we have the rainbow show, we can do. Um, we can look at the trying to trying to look more at Ben's father, the king. Cool. Uh, do the middle one. Middle slain. Ages one. The yep. slain knight in the Middle Ages. Okay. Yeah. So he haunts the present. So I think we actually need to go to the present. Ooh, interesting. So no guest. No guest on the episode coming out. <laughs> it's two hours and forty minutes. Ooh man. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. So <sighs> uh, Nope, this is not where we wanna go. We wanna go to the landmass we've not been to. Which is down south a bit. A bit. Interesting. Are we gonna conquer it? Nope. I mean, we have a time machine. I mean, we could if we wanted. Here lies the great explorer, Toma Levine. Sixth of the third moon, 634. Do you remember Toma? <laughs> no. Okay. He's just like a guy we met in a bar in the Middle Ages oh. that was like, I'm going to go find this thing. And it's like, oh, you've already found that. Well, I guess I'll go hunt the rainbow shell. Uh -huh. um, Toma! I think he's like one of the people trying to rescue the queen too or something. Mm. This is a different mayor. Oh yeah, this is, we've not been to this continent. You think of visiting those ruins? I'd stay away if I were you. They're quite dangerous. What with all the structural damage in the ground. <sighs> It'll be fun. There's an old structure to the north. It's lain in ruins for centuries. They sell you ghosts lurk in the ruins to the north. Oh, this is like the uh, Lavender Town. Have you heard? Talk is, has it that those rooms in the north are haunted. It seems there's been ghost sightings. Yes, I did know that, since the person <laughs> right next to you just said it. Oh, how dreadful. Spirits with lingering worldly attachments are drawn to those sorts of places. Gonna catch ourselves a Gengar. How the Black Omen shines in the sun. Tomorrow should be a beautiful day as well. It's just like, the Black Omen is just a part of people's lives. The anguish of tormented spirits forms an almost tangible cloud around the ruins to the north. <laughs> That one was a little spooky. Okay, let's go. Time to beat up a dead Marowak. <laughs> um, I need to have Frog with me. Um, let's go with him. Let's throw Magus in instead of Chrono. Also for Flav. Partially for you might flavor. want to heal him too first. He's like half health. Let's go stay in the inn. I know that costs money, but I don't want to go back to the end of time. 10G for the night. Okay, yeah. It's only 10 gold. Yeah. <laughs> Just stay in the inn. Give me gold. Give me gold. How adorable. We practice that sink wake up every day. Bring me another mug! So I think you've had quite enough already. Who are you to tell me when I've had enough? You're worse than the wife! What's wrong with a carpenter having a few pints in the afternoon, eh? Sir, it's 8 o'clock in the morning. Have you heard about the ghost, I mean? Yes. Come on! <laughs> we've heard about the ghosts! <laughs> they say a ghostly night haunts the northern ruins. Scary, eh? Sends chills down my spine just to think of it. All the youngins are off at that millennial fair. Kids these days, they're just gluttons for fun. Gluttons for fun. The grave of the great explorer Toma is on the western cape. Even he never managed to find the treasure known as the rainbow shell. He said weather. Not a single sale yet, and I came all the way from poor. Please, won't you buy something? Nah, I'm good. I would have bought, like, just, do you have water? <laughs> I need Diet Coke. 
Northern ruins. Tarot, you say? <gasps> Sasquatch! <laughs> I met Sasquatch once. Oh, yeah? In Oregon. He was at a gas station. Cool. He missed all of us. Yeah. Oh. He's a ghost, Johnny. He's immune to fighting. Use... Cure wave dual tech. Gotta use what dark? No, you don't actually ever deal damage to him. It's just a survive a couple of rounds. Um... I am unable to damage it. Glenn. Glenn. Cyrus. Tis I, Glenn. Oh. Glenn! Grrrr! Oh. Who's Cyrus? Cyrus is Glenn's friend from the Middle Ages that Magus, like, defeated. Killed. Like, they were gonna- they were gonna join the army together and stuff. And then, like, Magus killed Cyrus and then turned Glenn into a frog- frog boy. Okay, so Toad is Glenn. Yeah. And Cyrus is a friend that Magus killed. Yes. And they're now teamed up. Yes. Crazy. Right? Right. Ugh. I think at this point... I wanted to try it again with Toad in the lead, just in case that changed anything. But I think we need to go talk to the carpenter's wife. Sounds like a movie. The carpenter's wife. Or maybe we need to go to the Middle Ages and do something. All my husband does is sit at the tavern all day, nursing drinks. Well, just wait till he comes home. He'll be nice and a sore jaw then. When I grow up, I'll be a carpenter just like my dad. Just letting you know, we got like 15 minutes. Yeah, no, we're not going to finish this side quest. This one involves like going to the Middle Ages and doing stuff, and then going to 1000 and doing stuff, and then I think there's quite a bit of time travel involved with it. talk to a carpenter here and then we borrow the tools from the future carpenter I think what we do oh, boys what are they doing out there I'm just hanging out robbed of my carpentry tools how am I to work without my tools hey it's Toma Toma ah well met toad I finally stumbled upon a hint as to whereabouts of the rainbow show Still, I can't shake the feeling that things will go sour this time. I fear my luck may have finally run out. Say, so would you mind holding on to this for me? Obtain Toma's spirits. Okay. Should the worst befall me, it would mean a lot to me if you'd pour that over my headstone. A touch more, but I know, but I beg you. That's a different side quest. Okay, so now that we know that the carpenter there needs his tools... We oh, we borrow take... it from the wife who's like frustrated with her carpenter husband in the future. I mean, he's not using them. Exactly. <laughs> hey, can I take your tools so I can give it to a carpenter 400 years in the past? Sure. The <laughs> There's like some dialogue I gotta trigger first. I thought I would trigger it from talking to that carpenter bloke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nope, nothing here to do. Oh, the black omen shines in the sun. Yeah, I realize there's something here. You've got those ruins to the north. Oh, oh, goodbye. Alright. <laughs> Stop at that market guy. <laughs> walked in, walked out. Do 
I need to go deal with the ruins right now. Okay, I think I need to go into the ruins here and do stuff. I'm going off of memory, it's been a while. It's been a while. Thank you. Okay, monsters. Ghost Knight. I can use text on these guys. Dang. Well, he's got the sunglasses, which boosts his damage, so. And they took a lot of damage. All of Toad's MP. Yeah, I saw that. So I had Magus kill it. Mm. I'm gonna recover some of it, but not all of it. Ghost Knight. Heal beam real quick. Heal beam. Bobby Moya. <laughs> Musical guest. Wham! is out of magic. Not Venice. Oop. Didn't want to do that because I'm in the year 600. Oh well, it's just an ether. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Fire too, because that'll hit everybody. Just, just about killed everyone. I could take kill everyone. So I think that, um, MP Buster is a death move. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Hmm. I can't go any further. It's the hmm. holes. Interesting. Oh, well, holes are holes. Then digging up them holes. Digging up them holes, dig them. Let's do a damn bad. What the hell do I need to do to get these goddamn tools? Clay, you took the tools already. No. Talk to these people. We're only carpenter's apprentices. Our master's at the tavern. Why do you have four apprentices? We need some help. What? I think we gotta check into this guy. <laughs> you think he's keeping those boys against their will? Didn't say that. Dude, in the future, that's getting drunk. Oh, nope, that is where I want to go. If I can borrow his tools. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. Mm. Sorry. I'm like, I know I need to borrow his goddamn tools. <laughs> hmm? You want to borrow my tools? Well, sure. Why not? Be my guest. I'm a Lizzle. Busy, as you can see. I need to go and get them from my wife. I said Lizzle. You know, he's drunk. <laughs> I'm a little busy right now. Oh my cousin does. Da, 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 da. 
What? His tools? Oh, hold on, they're right here. On top of the fridge. I thought she was gonna open the fridge. <laughs> Obtain carpenter's tools. Okay. How much time we got? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Toad, it's been many a day. I located the rainbow shell, as it were. To the northwest of this cape is a large island called the Giant's Claw. The shell is there. Bop. But beware, there are droves of monsters afoot there. Well then, I believe this is farewell. Ah, there truly is no drink so fine as one shared in the company of friends like you. All the best to you. I barely know you. With friends like these, who needs an enemies? An anemones? The sea creatures? Mm hmm Okay. I just thought we'd go ahead and take care of that scene, because it's mm -hmm. kind of neat. I'll probably just get the tools to him. I already got them. Got them in the middle ages now. Oh, okay, we did that in the present. Yeah. Because he's not dead in the Middle Ages yet. He's dying. <laughs> oh. He's a tavern. Are those carpentry tools you're carrying? They seem so advanced. Like 400 years of the future advanced. <laughs> Might you be willing to lend them to me for a while? Yes. No. My thanks, friend. Now I can finally get to work again. Not here. There we go. You have my thanks for lending me these tools. It was most gracious of you. Now I can finally get back to work. Alright, what say we start on the ruins up north? I defeat you, lazy do not. Whatever you say, ma <clears throat> Whatever you say, master. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, mister. You made us all do matching haircuts. <laughs> I think this guy has a. Is this a cult? <laughs> I don't think it's a cult. We've done all we can. We can't repair monster infested places. Let us know when you've created a floor of beasts. When you've cleared a floor of beasts, we'll handle the rest. I defeat you, ladies do not. Whatever you say, master. Yeah, whatever you say, master. My name's Greg. My name's Sully. I'm a girl. On pop. <gasps> Skelly boys are back. Oh yeah. Ooh, I feel it. Floating Skelly boys. I should go stay in an inn. Hmm? So that should go stay in an inn. Mm -hmm. We should call it. Okay. After this fight. Jeez. Oh. I think they do a thing where they either do a bunch of damage or no damage. Like, they'll get you down to one. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to say thingy in the water here. And you're going to say heal me in there.
Oh, I thought the guy was dead. No, no, he's still on the screen. He's dead. Okay. He was just taking a nap. He's all took her down. <laughs> Miss. Miss. Tony, baby. It's just like cold case files. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna save here. And we're gonna call it a night. Our new episode is out in two minutes. So please go watch it. We're talking uh, like the the one true anime Christmas movie, Tokyo Godfathers. It's great. We talk a little bit about Satoshi Kone, mm -hmm. his other movies afterwards. Um, we spoil just a little bit of, just a little bit of Perfect Blue. So, you yeah, know, we spoil the premise. <laughs> well, there's like a part in the middle we talked about that it's like, oh, wait, yeah. And then we kind of like stopped ourselves from going too much further. Mm. Um, but yeah, no, we're talking Tokyo Godfathers. It is most certainly a Christmas movie. Mm hmm. This, I would say not not a typical Christmas movie plot, but typical Christmas movie themes. Yes. Um, but that's going to be on YouTube. That's going to be on Spotify and Anchor and iTunes. Yep, iTunes and well, I guess uh, pod, whatever yeah, Apple called. Podcasts, whatever it's called, Google Podcasts, some other places. I'm trying to vamp for. A, you know, less than a minute left until it's actually midnight and it's ah, up. Ah, it's fine. From YouTube? You know, the tube of views. That's your vamping? Yeah. This stream is going to be up on YouTube uh, at some point. I finally got our last three streams all uploaded earlier today. Because <laughs> I'm, like, I never turn on this computer that we stream from. Uh, so I just don't think about it. Because <laughs> we normally record through the laptop. Mm-hmm. In a different room because I'm not dragging this to our dining room every time we need to record. <laughs> but uh, is it midnight yet? Nope, not yet. But thanks for coming. I'm gonna well, save one more time. Okay. Go go listen to our podcasts and then go do what we're gonna be doing, which is listen to Blank Check with Griffin and David. <laughs> All right, bye. Bye.